Is LeBron James losing his MVP case during this three-game slide? Well, first, let me give a little consolation to Lakers fans, including you, J-Mac. Relax, all right? They lost four straight games midway through last season at one point. They lost five of eight in the bubble, and we know how that season ended up. So, so let's relax and not overreact to a midseason swoon. As far as MVP race, LeBron has lost his lead. And I said on these airwaves last week that this stretch without AD, LeBron would either increase his lead and, and get a sizable advantage in the MVP race, or he would come back to the pack. And he's come back to the pack clearly. Now, this doesn't mean his case is over. There are 40 games left. And, you know, a lot is to happen, not only with the Lakers, but with other teams, other guys that are in this MVP hunt. So, no, his case is not over, but he no longer has the lead. All right, if I had to vote today, it would be Joel Limbead, and I'll get into some of the other candidates a little bit later. But LeBron has lost his lead, and it's not so much because he hasn't played. Well, we can pick apart, you know, some things he did last night. He missed a free throw at the end of the game. I think he had a botched defensive assignment that he missed late in the game. Obviously, he didn't shoot well from three, but that's one game. LeBron has averaged 27 points, 10 rebounds, and nine assists on 51% shooting during this five-game stretch in which they've lost four or five. The only place he's struggled, and it's bad, is from three-point range. He's shooting 15%. But anyone that has watched LeBron's career you know, he's a good shooter. He's a solid shooter. He's a streaky shooter. He's not a great shooter. And so him shooting 38% from three, as he was doing for the first two months of the season, he actually shot 42, 43% from three in January. You knew that wouldn't last. He was going to come back to the pack. And that's what's happened this month. So now he's at about 35%. His career is 34% from three. So he's just come back to the mean. But the reason he no longer has the lead is not just, you know, not individual play so much as it is the winning. And we know the MVP award, I'm one of the media voters, it is tied to winning. Since the media have been voting for MVP since 1981, only twice has a player won it with fewer than 50 wins in a full season. That was Moses Malone in 1982 and Russell Westbrook the year he averaged a triple-double. If he doesn't get that triple-double, he doesn't get the MVP award. So your stats have to be otherworldly to win the MVP award if your team is kind of middle of the road in terms of a playoff race. So I, it's going to come down to wins. And the Lakers are third in the West right now, and they still have a better record than Philadelphia, but LeBron's individual play has been very good, but it hasn't been otherworldly. It hasn't been so much better than other individual players that he's going to be able to withstand a losing streak like this and win MVP. So right now, he's lost his lead, but there's a lot, lot of room left for him to regain it again. There is a lot of room left for him to gain, regain some of that swag that would put him in the race. I'm not a voter, obviously, and I've been made very clear that I'm a football player that shouldn't be talking basketball, but I am going to talk basketball, people. You know why? Because I know basketball. I know it very well. And looking at this game, give Bradley Bill and Russell Westbrook a ton of credit. Both outscored LeBron in this game. They're going up against some quality guys during this stretch. So LeBron James, although did well, right, 31 points, Played well. I'm looking at this as it's going to be the stretch run. As you mentioned, Broussard, there's a whole lot of basketball to be played. I believe if LeBron James can show the stamina to close, to as they say in track, to have that kick, if he kicks, then you're going to see why LeBron James should be the MVP of this league over a Joel Embiid over some of these other guys out here that we're looking at. Maybe a James Harden is in the conversation, a couple other guys that we can look at. Giannis is always a perennial MVP selection. But to me, when I look at LeBron James, LeBron James has enough built-in equity, built-up equity, that for him to have some slip-ups uh, right now, it will come down to them being able to win games, how well he plays without AD, 
and can he finish strong during the course of this regular season? Mac, that's that's to me, I think that that's the key to him getting the MVP is showing late. You know, LeVar, I don't want to start on like a negative tone. I'm a very positive guy in 2021, but Chris Boussard is wrong. Uh -oh. Joel Embiid is not the MVP right now. It's still LeBron. Let me take a moment to say LeBron had 31, 13, and 9 last night, okay? Good numbers. How do you lose an MVP award in February when you have 31, 13, and 9? And defensively, He's guarding Russell Westbrook, who is still a blur in the open court. You got to chase him around. How'd that work uh, LeBron, out? Chris, it's it, it just so difficult to ask LeBron, <laughs> hey, LeBron, we need you to lead us in scoring. Hey, LeBron, you need to also set everybody up offensively and have 13 assists because you know what? Dennis Schroeder's out. And, you know, you got to set up Caruso and pass the ball to all these guys. And then, oh, yeah, you have to play a lot of defense. Joel Embiid, by the way, Chris, you, you omitted this from his candidacy. Joel Embiid has missed six games already. He's on pace to miss 13 or 14 games. So now we're in a condensed season of 72 games. Embiid's probably going to miss 13 or 14. And we're still going to hand him the award because the Sixers, with a damn good roster, I mean, he's playing alongside Ben Simmons, okay? Ben Simmons ain't missing four weeks. And now you want to give Joel Embiid the MVP in February? Chris, I'm sorry, you're wrong, okay? Oh. Rick Buecher beat you up yesterday. Ooh. I'm not coming in that hot, Ooh. okay? LeBron is still the MVP. <laughs> he is the best player in the league. And, Chris, you're going to love this stat, okay? LeBron was watching us yesterday, right? Because he talk, we talked about his minutes. In the month of February, he's leading the NBA in assists. And I just, uh, I'm sorry, in minutes played. LeBron's leading the NBA in minutes played. And I looked this up, okay? Top 25 minutes played per game in the league. Nobody over the age of 31 except LeBron James, who's 36. Put some respect on his name. He's an old man playing a young man's game, and he's still dominating at the highest level. LeBron, still the MVP of the NBA. LeBron James. J-Mac, you tickle me. All right, that was cute. That was nice. All right, just stop it. All right, I didn't give the award to Joel Embiid. I said there's 40 games left to be played. I said if I had to vote right now, it would be Embiid. And I know you've been watching me. You watched me last week, and you saw me say the reason I had LeBron ahead of Embiid was because MB had watched, had missed so many games. And if he misses too many games, he's not going to win the MVP award. So you took my take and repackaged <laughs> well, you it in your it own today. little style and flavor and tried to throw it back in my face. All right? I caught you. I'm watching you, J-Mac. No, look. I, I, it's close. It's wide open. This is an odd year. You know, last year, Milwaukee ran away with the, the best record. And so that, that helped Giannis, you know, win his case and win it early, all right? But this year, coming off of two MVP awards and two back-to-back -back bad playoff performances for Giannis and his Bucks, that is going to weigh in the people's minds. I know it's a regular season award. Last year's playoffs shouldn't factor in, but it will because people are like, look, we're going to have to see you do it in the regular season uh, for us to give you that award or in the playoffs for us to give you that award again, unless they went, went on a 70-win pace again like they did last year, and they're not. The Milwaukee Bucks are not having a great season win-wise, so Giannis is not where he usually is in the race. Nikola Jokic, they're seventh in the West at Denver. He's playing great individually, but you can't give it to him because there's a seventh seed. Steph, they're the eighth seed. He's not getting it. Dame, Damian Lillard is in the race. You know, we'll see if Portland can continue to play well and win some games. But Embiid, LeBron, Kawhi Leonard, now he has missed seven games. And J-Mac, missing games is an issue. All right, if you miss too many, you won't get the award. But right now, I'd still have Embiid and Kawhi firmly in the race. But here's the guy, and you mentioned him, LeVar, and I don't. I, I'm, I was surprised you mentioned him because I don't think most people are even thinking that way. James Harden. James Harden right now is the Brooklyn Nets MVP. And if they go on a tear, they're already on a tear. If they continue to play this way and really put a ton of distance between themselves and Philadelphia or whoever the second seed is in the East, and they just... You know, they just run through the league in the second half of the season and Harden plays virtually every game and continues to do what he's doing. He is going to have to merit serious consideration 
for the MVP because there's nobody in the league playing better. All right, he's orchestrating the offense. He's still giving you 25 points a night. He's working hard on defense. He's leading the Nets in rebounding, leading them in PER, and his selflessness to move to a different position, to give up eight to 10 shots a game that he was averaging in Houston and, and be selfless has spread throughout that, that lineup. And now they're sharing the ball like never before. Defensively, the other guys are working hard on that end because of hard and sacrifice. So he's a guy that's going to have to start being named in this MVP race. And I'm not going to hold the way he left Houston against him. It was ugly. I didn't like it. But he did what he had to do to get out of there. Nobody holds it against Anthony Davis and some of these other players that have done that. So Harden's a guy that people should keep in the back of their mind for the time being for MVP. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.